Good day, everyone. Today's lecture is, the, is a rectangle. All right, previously in our lecture, I talked about continuation pattern, right? So we have the three different types of pattern. We have continuation, we have neutral, we have reversal pattern. So I've covered three different kind of continuation pattern, which you can see on my channel. And today we'll talk about a neutral pattern, right? So a uh, rectangle. A rectangle is a range that forms in a meandering at its sideways market, right? So uh, a prize drifts sideways, like, you know, you know when a car is being drifting. You know, when you, when you watch a drifting car, a drifting uh, sports car, they drift in a range of a road by drifting sideways, forming high and lows on that railroad track, right? So the price in the market drifts itself, finding what a high and a low, where it all gets stuck, right? What I mean by get stock is when it forms the same high and forms the same low in a ranging pattern without you know pushing out or stepping out from that zone. So a rectangle is a price action that can sandwich between what a support and a resistance level. And we all know that we all know and understand what support and resistance level is. If you don't know what support and resistance level is, check out my playlist in the channel. You will see where I talked about support and resistance zones and how you can be able to dictate that in an actual chart so a rectangle can be very narrow you know previously in my former lecture i talked about rectangle as a uh, um, continuation pattern where the market tends to move come down or go up in a drastic move then before forming a rectangular ranging price in a consolidating market a little wider of a, a price can be formed you know when the market is being moving in a meandering way, a, a little price can, can be formed, thereby having a support and resistance area where market tends to hit it and come back or tends to not reach it and draw back to its support or resistance area. So in this kind of uh, um, re rectangle, that is a, con uh, a neutral rectangle, markets tend to do what? Break out in either direction, right? So let's take a look at this picture here. So coming down to this area, this picture here, market tends to do what? Meander down from downwards, you know, coming up in a in a meandering way, in a low ranging way. Because when you take when you take a look at this, when you take a look at this price, you know, it's not it didn't come in, it didn't come up, it didn't come up or it didn't come down with a drastic move, like a continue like a, <clears throat> a continuation pattern. So here, market tends to do what? Meander upward, then began to form a range, began to drift around this zone, forming a resistance and a support zone. So market tends to meander up and down, up and down. And the tendency of markets breaking out in either direction is 50-50. So it's not certain. Market can break out to the upside or market can break out to the downside. And it may fake out to the upside and break out to the downside or fake out to the downside and break up what? To the upside. Isn't an applicable a market meandering and swinging down, uh, down to the you know maybe market is bearish, then and in the bearish move it begins to form what we we'll call a ranging pattern or consolidation pattern, having the same high and the same low, which which you can call a rectangle um, a rectangle pattern, right? So the market is drifting downwards, then began to drop, began to form a high and a low, high and low, which the high is not lower than the previous low, and which the high is not higher than the previous high. So the market gets to those area and rejects, move back down, get to those support area and reject back up to the resistance area and reject downward. So if we have a, if we have gonna have a breakout, the breakout is gonna have it is under 50-50 probability. So the market may tend to break out upside or break out downside. In most cases, we have a fake out breakout. Market will tend to use spike and fake this one out. But a lot of people will enter the trade and market will do what can go back up and continue upward direction. So let's take a look at the next slide so you will understand what I'm trying to explain. So this is a rectangle range formation with an what what with the traditional target. So if you are targeting to make profit in this market, then we have to target the range in between the market. That is how you set your take profit and also set your stop loss. That is what we call one to one ratio, or it can do to what two to one ratio. In the sense that markets will be coming up and form a high and form a low. So if from this high and this low the market is forming, it's more like 100 pips, we have a high probability that market when breaking out in either direction will have what 100 pips before coming back or we'll take out 100 pips downward before going back. In that case, we may have a market or a scandal spike that when this rectangle is being formed, 
their market will take this out 100 pips with maybe maybe a spike and a lot of people will jump into a trade the market will now reverse and come down to take other direction because of what this 100 pips range in this area has been covered on those areas with a long move maybe a fundamental that comes in and it takes you takes this out so these are way you can be able to trade in this pattern when you set some do set their uh, other um, other other pending orders you know buy limit or sell sell limit or buy uh, stop or sell stop in this kind of meandering uh, rectangular pattern the same is applicable on the right hand side when you want to sell or buy so when the rectangle is coming above high, prob high probability is 50 50 is not certain the market may get them to break out to continue the uptrend or come back down it's something applicable to this area so we have a double top and a double bottom we have head and shoulders they have another bottom again so double top and double top one we have a breakout in any direction so let's take a, take a look at an art on an actual chart so you understand what i mean how you can take a trade with such rectangle now take a look at this neutral rectangle forming that breaks out to the downside on a real actual chart take a look the market doesn't have a a sharp move here right it doesn't have a drastic move maybe coming down massively and began to range this one came meandering drifting drifting up drifting in an upward direction right so this is a higher high higher high 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 so it's began market begin to drift up farming high low high low high low and then started the what and began to range in between a what we we'll call a ranging band forming a higher high and forming a high and a low which is highly taken out you see so when take a look it says it supports resistance and that support resistance so there is no high the high and high here are equal and the low and low here are equal then what happens if you measure if you want to take trade something like this you can measure from here to here this range from here to here and if you see that the measurement from here to here is maybe 50 pips or 100 pips your target from this area is what 100 pips if you target that 100 pips they said you'll take take profit basically if market takes out this zone is high there's a high probability 80 percent probability the market will come back and retest that zone before continuation which it did here the market came back to mitigate what the support area would do that, that that was broken right in a, in a, in a normal support and resistance um, principle so this low was taken out market came back to retest that zone with continuation this is an actual rectangular pattern on a neutral movement right so let's take a look at what an upward movement so market tends to wood what begin to meander you know break out mitigate the prices and swing here all those stuff then came down and began to form a ranging pattern here right now if you take a look at this looks this looks like a falling wage but it's not a falling wage right because market is not in a squeeze right if you draw a right uh, uh, trend line this way and draw a trend line this way you have the market is in a is in a rectangular form right so what will happen here now is the market came down and begin to form a low and begin to form a high so the highs are equal and the lows are equal similar to the previous one now what happens the market broke out so if you are trying to put buy from this area what happens you measure from this area to this area with your cursor with your uh, crosshair on your chart then if you don't what is, if you don't know what is crosshair there's a video in my channel where i talked about how to use mt4 platform you can be able to master how to use mt4 either mobile or you can or your or, uh, desktop or laptop mt4 terminal you must have to use those uh, tools there now from here you can measure what 100 pips if it is 50 pips from here to here you measure 100 pips so if you measure 100 pips you can be able to target that and what hit your take profit other ones are similar to that now remember i said when the when the market is being broken when the a support resistance is being broken the market will definitely come back to mitigate it which the market did what came down here to mitigate this word resistance some, some people call it resistance comes support and support turns to resistance so that is that about a neutral rectangle pattern in a uh, um, continuation pattern we have a rectangular formation right but in neutral pattern we also have a rectangular formation they are both different they are the same thing but are different in their own principle and in their own analysis so that is that about neutral rectangular formation thank you guys god bless you don't forget to subscribe like and share this video bye for now peace Thank you.